Many thanks for rejoining us again and the program is still good morning Abuja showing only on the Unity Station NCA Channel 5. And now we have another guest with us this morning and we want to talk about something that concerns the development of our dear nation Nigeria. We want to talk about uh, civil service reforms and have with us this morning a public affairs analyst to do justice to this topic we have before us. Help us welcome Hassan Sadauna to the program. You're welcome to the program. <laughs> Madam Deborah, yes. thank you for having me this morning. Good morning, Nigerians, and good morning, Abuja at large. Yes, thank you all for always responding to us anytime <laughs> we call you. Uh, this topic we are talking about this yeah. morning, civil service reforms. Mm. I know it has to uh, do with a major part of our development. Now, let's start. Uh, mm. uh, what's your, what is your reaction to the recent efforts uh, by Mr. President to reform the civil uh, service? Uh, first, I will uh, congratulate Nigerians and Nigeria entirely. Okay. It is a uh, long awaited uh, something to be done to do with the reform of uh, civil service okay. in Nigeria. Doing that is a very uh, step mild uh, by the federal government. And uh, by so doing, you have start hearing a lot of, uh, how do we call it, uh, convention, uh, 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 what do we call it, uh, 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 breaking news from diaspora and others. So, and within Nigeria, it's also not left behind. You can see a lot of uh, bruhaha, but uh, it is a good idea for coming with uh, reforms at this time around, where Nigerians need more money and more economical or economic attention. Okay, that's a very good one. And want to start, start again uh, from a practical story we have before us. Uh, yeah. in a, a Nigerian driver in UK that made a shocking revelation. That's why that he was over there. His salary is still running here. Yeah, that uh, is not a is not a news. Okay. I don't think that should be a news. And 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 this thing happened just because we have a president that is ready to uh, reform the civil service. Okay. For not having somebody like him, we wouldn't hear this type of stories. But we knew this based on certain reasons. Uh, uh, Madam Deborah, in Nigeria here, you find somebody is working in Sokoto or Inugu or Kaduna maybe or Kogi, doing form attendant in Abuja or anywhere, but he is a civil servant in the state. In the state when yeah. you had some governors are retrenching, people are crying out and others. Some of them are working here collecting double salary, while others are looking for this work, going roaming about on the street. And behold, these people that are looking for the jobs, they are more professional, they are more educated, they have more certificates. But you that has opportunity to be there, you went and block others. And secondly, like the one that you are talking in diaspora, most of the children that are going there for school and others, when you make a verification, you find out that a child of 26 years has been working for a good 26 years or 25 years because he was given a job when he was only one year older. It happens here in Kogi State. If you remember vividly during the Hayabello case, there are a lot of things like that going for verification in the state. So the federal government too is, is not left behind. Where we have seen uh, people uh, working in the uh, oil sectors in the for a diaspora, and here they have another salary, even in their states, not even federal government. I can tell you that there are some people who are working in two ministries or agencies and some and still they are staying in Canada or America after having an opportunity to be a civil servant and then he, he, they acquire another position, another job, they got it at the same time. At the same time with the two jobs, they were even able to leave Nigeria again to Japa. Do we call it Japa? That's what they are calling it. Japa. To another world, either United States of America, Canada or UK to have a white collar job. And by so doing, you are tomorrow you will be hearing them insulting Nigeria and uh, 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 the presidents or the leaders of our country. Mm -hmm. They are more dangerous than the presidents or the uh, governors or whatever, because somebody that have done it, in fact, I am calling the attention of the federal government and the Mr. President, mm -hmm. the man that is trying to make changes mm -hmm. at the helm of affairs of civil service in Nigeria to bring a new law that if you have been found double standing in your uh, position as a civil servant, you went to America or any world, or even in Nigeria, you are working in, uh, 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 in your state 
and at a, 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 a the federal government here you are a form attendant or you are an engineer in another company or anywhere please let a very serious penalty meted on those people by so doing a lot of people will have fears but let me tell you those who are doing very well the proletarian class they are in more uh, I, see I will give you an example. Okay. There w w went a uh, former governor of uh, Katsana State was having a verification. So um, uh, what am I trying to say? A woman was uh, joined a vehicle from inside Katsana. She's going to Dan Musa. So when she on her way coming to uh, uh, Dan Musa, she already passed Dan Musa because she doesn't know where mm -hmm. Dan Musa is. Wow. He, she has already reached a, a, a village or a, a local government. Uh, uh, Kankara local government, almost to Kankara local government. She was telling the driver, please, when you reach uh, Mararaban Amusa, I will drop there. I want you to understand, a woman of uh, at that time, they were saying around deputy or the uh, director, which was a salary of lo at the so local government level, a salary of about 160 or 140, which you can uh, uh, have more of four to five, uh, what do we call it, graduate that are collecting 35, 39,000 in the local government. One woman is uh, uh, eating that money. And to behold, the story went that she is married to someone at the Obed State. That means she's not even coming to, uh, uh, what do we call it, Kazana uh, State until the verification end time. And the same thing in any organization, they are there. When they only come when they had their verification. And I think it's, uh, uh, it's time to deal with those type of uh, criminals and, uh, and criminality that has been going across in and out of the civil service with such behaviors that taking Nigeria and Nigerians for granted. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for reacting to that. I want to commend the efforts of our president for trying to stop because we need to uh, put a stop to it yeah. because uh, there are so many loopholes there. Yes. And thank God he's out to block it completely. Now, in your own view, I know you you, you know more about it, and that, was, that that is why we brought you up this morning. Mm. What do you think, in your own view, mm. uh, should be done to tackle all this? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you see, Nigerians are very, very radical in their mind, build up criminality in some of their blood. I am not saying everyone, but most of Nigerians. Because when you talk of IPPIS, you remember the reason why IPPIS was introduced? The master and planner of IPPIS came from a government of Jonathan. The master and planner of a single treasury account came from a belly of of Jonathan. And, but he was not having that might to produce it at that moment. He was looking, waiting for the second time. But to God be the glory, the person who came after him, took the mantle mm -hmm. and singularized the single treasury account where you find out that there is more than 40, 70 per ministry account of different distances. Then secondly, this IPPS was meant to be for a purpose of trying to reduce uh, uh, the ghost workers ghost and whatever. Workers, yes. But still, they went ahead and inserted themselves and be playing. I don't know how they are playing this. Thing. So what am I trying to say here is that the federal government, as I said earlier, must have to go to the uh, National Assembly, tell the National Assembly, to, if there is a law, let them check, uh, check the, uh, uh, the files and put the law in the limelight where everybody will see it, that we're going to deal for the punishment of these criminals that are bound to bring Nigeria to its knees because they are just a saboteurs. They are. When you are talking about somebody that is trying to eat two salaries, either in diaspora or within Nigeria, you understand what I'm saying? He's a saboteur. Okay. Why can't he make a, a penalty that will going to deal with him? But let me tell you, as I said earlier, most of these people, their children that, uh, that are class of uh, proletarians, high class citizens of Nigeria, is most of their children and the what? A cohort, that is the people that align to them. Whether you are their boy or you are this, they, can, uh, they are using that opportunity to make Nigeria look so stupid in the eyes of global nations. But I think it is high time now. Since somebody like President Bola Tinubu has come and he has the mind right. and the might mm -hmm. to remove subsidy without the blame, uh, within the blame of I, nothing mm -hmm. happened. And things like this for the better and goodness of Nigeria, please, Mr. President, do as much as you can and make sure that you have not just waited like our former president, the, the gentleman from the behind, 
who will just give you a job based on trust and will allow you to continue doing your thing. No, monitor, supervise, supervise. and make sure that actions have been taken mm -hmm. against those who are leading that are not functioning. If you will not walk, go back to your village and stay and be start working like a big man. We can salute you and give you traditional title and stay there as a, a, a leader. But if you are in the government, work like a civil servant or a public appears, a public or a, a, a servant to the nation because we don't have any other country than Nigeria. Yes. Nigeria is our home to be proud of. Nigeria that is a country that we live in and we are not going anywhere until Nigeria comes to the end. That is the end of the world. Yes. We are not going anywhere. So we need a better Nigeria for And we believe in our nation, Nigeria. Uh, yes. Okay, before I let you go in your final words and in advice, you mm. know, uh, we are talking about measures we, we can put in place to block all the loopholes. Yes. You know, the, at times you put a lot of measures to block all these loopholes. Yes. You still see people trying to, yeah. <laughs> trying to break the law, trying to... They, they don't mind. Yeah. Even if sanctions is, yeah. is meted upon yes. them, they are ready. Yeah. In, in your final word, mm. just give us uh, your reaction before you do. My reaction will not be far from knowing that I have a religion. Okay. You have a religion. You should be guided by our religion. We should be a God-fearing citizen. God first before anything. If you do that, you're going to move on. And even if you are not a Christian or a Muslim, at least... Whatever you are, at least you should have a conscience. You should have a conscience yes. of mind. mind. At least let us have patriotism. Think of who we don't have a better social world than Nigeria. So Nigeria should be a part of uh, of us, and we have to be proud of Nigeria. Bring back Nigeria that we knew when we were small children. We were going to be happy. See, if Nigeria would come back to its uh, limelight like, like before, even you don't want to go to US. You don't want to go to even when you are going to this Cyprus. Cyprus is not better than Jigawa. But when they because they have the only thing they have better than Nigeria is standard light and then this education that is not uh, there is no strike and orders. Anything less than that, we are far better than those type of countries. But they will come and tell you a story. So please, Nigerians as a good citizens and Samaritans that want to move Nigeria to a next point of a global better society, please they, we should come together, okay, put our hands on deck. It is a duty for everybody to sanitize and Nigeria to be a best place to live. Please, not only the president and the federal government that are having this zeal of turning Nigeria into a better society in the civil service. Oh, thank you so much thank you for your work to us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Yes, our uh, public affairs analyst has, he has said it all. He has nailed it. What more should I add? It is a collective responsibility. Nigeria is our country, the only and one country that we have. So it is a collective responsibility. Let's put our hands together and make sure we make our nation, Nigeria, work. We have been talking to Hassan Sadauna, a public affairs analyst, and together we looked at civil service reforms. Now let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we have a lot for you. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us, please.